All right, I'm gonna do a video debunking this Catholic heresy and lie of the perpetual virgin, virginity of Mary. And what they believe about this is that it's a doctrine they, they made up, it's foreign to scripture. They basically, basically believe that Mary was sinless and she was a virgin her whole life and that she never had any other children besides Jesus. I'm gonna show you from scripture that this is completely a total lie. It's a, it's a false doctrine. Let's get right into it. Matthew chapter 13, verse 55. Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brethren, James and Joseph and Simon and Judas, his brethren? So Mary had, so Jesus had brothers and brothers? No, Mary had other children. According to this passage, Jesus had brothers. Matthew chapter 27, verse 56. Among which was Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph and the mother of Zebedee's children. So the, Mary's the mother of James and Joseph, not Jesus only. My cat's goofing around in the background. I'm sorry about that. But we see here Mary had other children. Mark chapter 6, verse 3. Is not this the carpenter's son, the son of Mary, the brother of James? Talking about Jesus. The brother of James, Joseph, and Judah, and Simon. And are not his sisters here with this? And they were offended at him. His sisters and his brothers? So Jesus had sisters too? Hmm, interesting. Mary had other children, clearly, according to Scripture. Mark chapter 15, verse 40. And there was also women on, looking on afar off, among whom was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James, and less, uh, less and of Joseph and Solomon. Not good at reading on a computer. But again, Mary's the mother of James and Joseph, so she had other children. Catholics will try to say, well, just talking about Jesus' cousins, um, you don't call your, the, your okay, if they're his cousins, why was Mary called the mother? You know, because they're not his cousins, they're his brothers and sisters. Mary had other children. Now, some two more verses that really kind of prove this, that Mary had other children, is the fact that Jesus is called Mary's firstborn child. So there'd be no point to call Jesus her firstborn child if she only had one child. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Matthew chapter 1, verse 25, And he knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Hmm. That's Matthew 1, 25. Interesting. Luke chapter 2, verse 7, And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling and clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them at the inn. His, her firstborn son? Again, if Mary was a virgin her whole life, why is Jesus called her firstborn son? Being called her firstborn son is implying, my cat's goofing around, uh, it's actually, my cat's like trying to dig a rug up, weird. Uh, there'd be no point to calling her, her, his, her firstborn son if she had other children. Okay, calling him her firstborn son implies she had other children. Very, very simple. It's a very basic doctrine. So don't believe this lie that Mary was a sinless virgin her whole life. It's ridiculous. There's examples in the Bible of Mary sinning as well. It, it's, there's so many scriptures that, that just debunk this Catholic lie. So anyway, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. God bless you. Goodbye.